and it's a job performed so seamlessly, customers give it little thought. But each time someone clicks to buy, a powerful apparatus is set in motion. The Amazon Fulfillment Center looks chaotic, and it looks random, but it's actually highly orchestrated. Author and journalist Brad Stone has covered Amazon for 15 years. The conductor of the symphony is software in the cloud that's basically optimized the whole system to be as productive as possible. Across a space as vast as 20 football fields, workers manage the widest variety of inventory on the planet and move tens of millions of products at lightning speed. There is a promise of speed which is completely sacred. Nadia Shorabora is one of the architects of Amazon's fulfillment system a monument to efficiency, which, at its peak, handles 426 orders a second. When you receive an email message from Amazon saying that the item is on the way and you will get it tomorrow, that promise has to be met at any cost. Virtually every decision, down to which size box to use, is determined by sophisticated algorithms. Every associate move, every move of every item, every box flowing, every tote arriving, all of it is run and coordinated by one computer brain, which runs that fulfillment center. But for all its cutting edge technology, Amazon fulfillment still falls on the backs of tens of thousands of workers performing manual labor. Dozens of former workers we spoke to describe an unforgiving pace and say too often speed and productivity mattered more than their well-being. I saw people last anywhere from a few days to maybe a month. Pickers like Stephen Abadili walk 15 miles or more each day to retrieve as many as 200 items an hour. A handheld device dictates every move and counts down tasks to the second. I would say I need to be in aisle 54, get this item. And then suddenly, you're going to aisle 72, and you have 10 seconds. Abadili struggled to keep up, and like many, was eventually let go. I would get out of work, get home, and sit on the couch, and my body would just quit on me right then. You're a guy in your early 20s, Yeah. and you're still wiped out. I was <laughs> dead at the end of the day. The job also took its toll on Kay Johnson a top performer who often packed more than 1,800 items a day. She left the company after seven years and won a workers' compensation claim against it. My knees, my back, my hands, they're never going to be the same anymore. All because of Amazon, you know. But others had a good experience. I love the job. Loved the job. I love being with the people. I mean, Doc really Kane kind of was a manager in Pennsylvania. He says the demands on workers are all in service to the customer. If things are slow and pick, it slows down pack, which slows down everything going out the door, which means you don't get your prime order on time. Warehouse work anywhere can be grueling. But a drumbeat of protests, lawsuits, and investigative reports in the U.S. and abroad have brought attention to labor issues here and raise questions about how hard Amazon pushes its employees. You heard the ambulance called all the time. People were passing out from the heat and, you know, having trouble breathing. Dana Wethington and other former employees describe a corporate taskmaster that demanded workers meet strict productivity goals no matter what. 